In this short demonstration, we're going to look at all the different rendering options, including the new Cycle X. And just to make things a little bit fair, because Cycles X is obviously not stable yet, I'm not going to turn on adaptive sampling or denoising. I normally like to use denoising, it speeds things up dramatically. Um, but let's just um, render this out in cycles. So the first setting we're going to look at in preference in system is none. And if we use none, it means it's going to use the CPU. So if we render this image, I have a 5950X, so there's 16 cores, so this is extremely fast uh, rendering in cycles. And looks pretty good. And we're going to use this as the base. Keep in mind, I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card 3080 Ti. So I expect the graphics card to absolutely demolish this. So this took 26.69, which is more or less on point of what I expected. And we can use that as the base. Now we just go to edit preferences and we're gonna edit preferences, CUDA. And when you choose CUDA, you can select the graphics card. OpenCL is for AMD, but AMD is not as good as CUDA, even though it's supported quite well. CUDA is way better than, AMD, uh, than OpenCL. So now we're gonna try this. Render image. So 26.69 is what it needs to beat. And I expect this to be one of the better results. Image, in my opinion, already looks better. And that took 10.34 seconds, which is pretty good going. And before I mess with anything else here, let's quickly change it to, if you have a GPU that supports it, optics. Let's try optics. And render image. This is supposed to use AI apparently, but for whatever reason in this specific image, it just can't, um, beat CUDA, which I find quite interesting. I'm not too sure why. Oh, it did. 9.86. It beat it this time. Uh, but in my other stuff, it completely smashes it. It beats it by more than half. So that was 9.86. Now with optics selected, I'm going to use a denoiser in the render settings called optics. And let's render the image again to see if it's faster than 9.86. Nope. Whenever you use a denoiser, I guess it slows it down a little bit. 11.2 with a denoiser, not bad. So in short, 9.86 was the fastest we got uh, before we used any, I'm not gonna use this as a, as a reference. And is there any other option that we have here? No, nope, that's about it. Okay, cool. And everything's just on the standard settings. Now, I'm gonna show you how to download Cycles X, which is an experiment at the moment. Uh, Cycles X is over here, so you have to go to blender.org, downloads, scroll down, download ex Blender Experimental, and once you're here, you want to click on Experimental on the top here, and then you can download this. You just click here and you can download it. Once you've downloaded this, um, you should be able to open up Blender that has Blender X. And let me just close this quickly. Don't save. I'm going to quickly open this. Desktop. And we're looking for Blender Cycles X. Hold on, that's the. I've already extracted this Blender Cycles X. So let's open this up. So this is apparently the big boy. So we're going to go File open and we're going to use the same snowman and off the back before we do anything let's just render what we have in the scene so Cy cycles x basically is a different model it doesn't go for each individual tile it takes the whole thing and just slowly but surely smooths it out so you get a better picture of what's going on it's a completely different process it doesn't mean it's faster like this one took while well, it's still going it, i think it will be faster in the future but it definitely gives you a clearer picture faster but this is taking much longer so maybe cycles x at this stage isn't everything people think it is we 30 seconds in let's see how long it takes it's still rendering 38.5 <coughs> if 
frankly, that's terrible. Let's uh, play around with this quickly. Edit, preferences, system, CUDA, and let's render the image again. 3.7, 4 5 6 there we go, 9.5, new record. CUDA is now the fastest with Cycles X. Cycles X is officially faster. Preferences, let's go to optics, which should be way faster, I hope, because it is the future of your GPU can support it. Uh, render image again. And denoising is set on. Maybe if I turn denoising off, it'll be even faster. 6.35 seconds. Wow, that is crazy fast. Let's turn off denoising, any form of denoising, and this is 6.35. Will this be faster than that? 4.27 seconds. This is Cycles X. There you have it. It's official. You can render this image in 4.27 seconds. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about the difference between different ways to render and how to speed up your render and the future of Blender. It's looking promising actually with Cycles X. That's the first time I've, I've used it. Cool man, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.